Yeah. No, I'm in, I'm in France. Yeah, I'm in France, yeah. Yeah, tell me about it, yeah. No, it's rubbish. Yeah. No, I'll ring you back. Yeah. Ciao. Excuse me, mate, you wouldn't look after this 20 seconds, would you? Do you just mind looking after that 20 seconds? I've just got to get a trolley, yeah? I'll be back, I promise. So hang on. I've got to get my camouflage badge, yeah. which just means I have to assimilate myself into the natural surroundings. So I was wondering if you could close your eyes for 20 seconds, I'll try and assimilate myself somewhere and then see if you can spot me. Have we got oh. find you? No, not at all. Would that be all right? Say again what you've got to do. Close your eyes 20 seconds. I'll say it ready and I'll be assimilated somewhere here and you have to try and spot me. Right, right. Okay, ready? Yeah. Eyes closed. Okay. If we get dropped, I will sail out the window. Clutch in the artwork to my debut scene. We'll fly past the helicopter high of the St. Paul's Head for the ocean, I will live with the seagulls I don't wanna talk about it I'm just glad we've failed I'm living the high life for you Hello. You like a tune on the banjo and drum? You like the tune? I, I write it myself. Oh, the barrel, the barrel is fun. The barrel is fun. The barrel of fun. One of those, please. Hmm? One of those, please. Oh, one of those. No. <laughs> you don't, no, thank you. No, thanks. <laughs> Just play more tricks. So you're not selling anything, are you? Okay. <laughs> hit me on the head. <laughs> oh, sorry, someone just hit me on the head in there. You haven't got five pounds for a hospital or anything, have you? Sorry. I've got, my head's quite badly injured. Right, yeah. Have you got 10p? Because I've really been smashed on the head quite badly here. Oh. Bye. 
it's over You don't need to tell me I hope you with someone Who makes you feel safe in your sleep In tonight I won't kill myself Trying to stay in your life I got no distance left to Morning. Troll booth, please. 40 pence. just had a phone call at the park office, a complaint of four people roughly matching your description, mucking about with fire extinguishers and oh, throwing... You can be sure it wasn't. Right. No, 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 no. It's, it, well, it's just that they rang through and said it was in this alley and that they were throwing buns and shouting, burn the witch, and then doing this. No, but no, no, yeah. we, we didn't even see anything. No, I didn't see anything. Didn't see anything. Okay. Yeah. Well, you understand that I have to yes. follow this through. I'm not actually insinuating you might do it, but... All I'm saying is that we all get a bit carried away sometimes in the in the restaurant. Maybe there was a long queue. There was nothing wrong. Nothing. Very quiet. Except that the Japanese. She took. Maybe there was a long queue and you lost your temper and now you. No. No. Okay. And this doesn't ring any bells to any of you. No stopping or waiting zone. Yeah. So you can't stop here, Fred. Right. Yeah? Can you carry on? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah? I'm Thank going. you. I'm not stopping. Well, it's the law. So you've done it again now. This is a no stopping zone, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, is it traffic? What? Is it traffic? Well, I mean there's always an excuse, but it is the law, I'm afraid. Sweet. Well, that's twice you've stopped now. Sorry. Sir, please, I'm going to have to ask you to move on because this is absolutely no stopping. Towers, but I only see one way out. You gotta cry without weeping, talk without speaking, scream without raising your voice. You know I took the poison from the poison stream, then I floated. Hello? Hi. Do you recognise me? No. no. No? Does that make a challenge? Are you ready to take it on? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you understand the format? Is that mega? Yeah. One of the uh, best best powders in the world. These boys have washed their white shirts in Zap Mega and we can challenge you to find anything whiter in your house and you get ten years free supply of Zap I've Mega. No the number one. Day. Let's bring something that's white out. Let's have a look. Let's do the <laughs> test. OK, 
Ted Livingston, uh, we're here at the Moore Galleries for an exhibition of wildlife uh, art. Not, possibly not a lot of people put you together with wildlife, would that be fair? Or? Oh, well, I think people know I've always been interested in newts and frogs and crocodiles, alligators, things like that, going back to my childhood. And what I think interesting is this society first had its exhibition in 1960, it's grown and grown. An incredible range of art forms in there, the most amazing lifelike recreations of animals. Come on, buddy. Oi. Excuse me, mate. Do you mind? You try and cut him out. Do you mind, mate? He's not one of yours, is he? <laughs> hey, he's standing for mayor. Out of shot. Yeah. Buddy. He's going. Excuse no, me, buddy. We're actually in shot, okay? Just move out a bit, please. Just move around, Sam. <laughs> uh, Ken Livingston, we're here at um, the Moore Galleries for an yeah, exhibition okay, of, of Wild Up. Oi. What's the point you're trying to make? God! Get out of here! <laughs> right, uh, sorry. Nice. Ken Livingston, mm. you like wildlife? Um, uh, let me think, I actually had to engage my thoughts there for a moment. Uh, Netherlands. Speak Netherlands? Okay, uh, what time do we arrive? Where? Uh, next time you must come and visit us. Okay. Okay. My, my egg must be boiled. Boiled. I'm okay. Looking for a banana. Huh? I'm looking for a banana. All you get here is food poisoning, my friend. Oh my god. I better stay away. Okay. Thank you for a lovely evening. Where do you want to go? Uh, your choice. And what I'm trying to do is raise a little team of informants who could possibly let me know what was going on in the park if they spotted anything untoward. Yeah, yeah. So we've had a case up there of a couple what are you calling of... calling old people by old people? Yeah, there's, no. there's a gang of them going around calling this one particular man old tin legs and Conquer man. Well, it's very peculiar because no. it's not the sort of thing you want happening at that age. No, so. I mean, you can imagine perhaps young, young people. At school or something, yeah. Uh, school children. Yeah, but this is a, a gang of particularly sort of mentally quite vicious pensioners doing oh, it, so. No. But we haven't got a description. No. So, what I was hoping was that maybe if I could uh, slip a fiver to a couple of sort of elderly people who sit here quite often, you could maybe keep a word out and tell me what the word out on the street is. And if you can just eavesdrop on conversations, yeah. if possible, sort of creep up on, if you see a sort of gang of elderly people, just try and listen to what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. If it's anything taunting and stuff, then obviously we'll activate the, the pigeon plan. Yeah. So, yeah. would well, that be all right? Yeah.
security come in. Yeah, Bill, there's a girl in a grey top and a rucksack uh, looking at cleaning products. Definite shoplifter. She's looking at some GIF now. Hi, madam. Hi. What was that? Hmm? What was that? Announced what? That I'm doing some shoplifting. Are you shoplifting, madam? Yeah, there's just somebody just said something. You're shoplifting? Somebody just said something. On... Extraordinary. I'm just looking at the uh, fairy liquid. <laughs> yeah, Phil, she's definitely not intending to buy that stuff. Stand by. I'm from the Scouts. Yeah. I was just wondering if I can help you across the road for my badge. No, I'm okay. I'm sure, I've got to get my badge to get someone across the road. Okay, right. Is that okay? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. okay. Hang on. All right, now back we go. I've got to do it twice and we got it. Twice and I get my badge. Hang on. Okay. Security coming. Yeah, Bill, you're standing right next to her now. Try and get a look in the bag without noticing. Where do you want to go? Where are you going to? I live in 
place. In place. Okay, I'll get you a cab. Taxi! No, I, I just across the road. I can't get my badge if I don't get you a cab of some form. Okay. Yeah? Hang on. Taxi! Taxi! How exciting do you think uh, the rise of wine is in, in Britain? I mean, a lot of people are much more into wine. Why is that? Oh, it's actually brilliant. I mean, it, the whole of Northern Europe is, is happening, but we've actually had more wine consumption every year since the 1980s. It's partly like the rise of the supermarkets. Everyone can go and buy wine easily, cheaply and enjoyably nowadays, which they never used to be able to do before. Yeah. Hey. Sorry, sorry. sorry I'm, doing, I'm doing an interview. Sorry, I was... What? We're going to the cricket. We've got a spare ticket. Have you? Is this your guy? What? Just one of your guys. Um, they've got a ticket for the test. The test match, sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Can you tell me what's happening? What did he just say to you? He's got a ticket for the test and he's dashed off. And I don't know what that means. Hee <laughs> hee